Hi, Molly. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, my name is Molly Zhang, and I'm from China. When I was a freshman and sophomore, I studied, I studied in China, and the last two years, I were finishing my major in the United States. And in 2012, I were graduated from this university. That's great. So, how did you get involved in interfaith at UND? Uh, I heard a lecture from my uh, classmate. Uh, he told me to uh, have a program. It's very good. We can uh, share our opinions about uh, different uh, interface and uh, exchange our uh, different uh, uh, opinions about the culture. And uh, also we can uh, speak English and develop our English other. So I joined the program. Great. So America seems to have a lot of uh, interfaith programming going on. How do you see interfaith possibly working in China? Um, in China, um, people believe Buddha. Not many people believe Christian is Jews um, because uh, um, China um, just open, just be open uh, to the world a few years, uh, and uh, people don't uh, um, know about uh, Christian very well. And uh, the government uh, have some um, have some uh, permit for the. Uh, beliefs um, and uh, people in China have a group or um, they have a family. Uh, they were all believe the Christian or all believe the uh, Buddha or something else. Um, so uh, if my grandmother believe Buddha, the next gen generation uh, will um, believe Buddha forever. Great. So do you think interfaith could work in the future as China continues to open its doors? Yeah, of course, uh, because uh, China is uh, 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 every year they are, uh, they are more open. Um, so um, if people know more about uh, the Christian, um, and uh, people need some uh, um, beliefs, uh, so um, in the future uh, they can uh, choose uh, whatever they want to believe, and the government will give them the opportunity um, to believe everything. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Molly. Thank you very much.